in mathematics, a multiplicative inverse or reciprocal for a number x, denoted by 1 slash x or zab 1, is a number which when multiplied by x yields the multiplicative identity, 1. The multiplicative inverse of a fraction a b is b a. For the multiplicative inverse of a real number, divide 1 by the number. For example, the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth, and the reciprocal of 0 0.25 is 1 divided by 0 0.25, or 4. The reciprocal function, the function f, x, that maps x to 1 slash x, is one of the simplest examples of a function which is its own inverse. The term reciprocal was in common use at least as far back as the third edition of Encyclopaedia Britannica to describe two numbers whose product is 1. Geometrical quantities in inverse proportion are described as reciprocal in a 1570 translation of Euclid's elements. In the phrase multiplicative inverse, the qualifier multiplicative is often omitted and then tacitly understood. Multiplicative inverses can be defined over many mathematical domains as well as numbers. In these cases it can happen that out of a permeable bar. Then inverse typically implies that an element is both a left and right inverse. The notation fa1 is sometimes also used for the inverse function of the function f, which is not in general equal to the multiplicative inverse. For example, the multiplicative inverse 1 slash, sin x, equals a 1 is different from the inverse sin of x, denoted shiner 1x or arc sin x. Only for linear maps are they strongly related. The terminology difference reciprocal versus inverse is not sufficient to make this distinction, since many authors prefer the opposite naming convention, probably for historical reasons. Examples and counterexamples, in the real numbers, zero does not have a reciprocal because no real number multiplied by zero produces one. With the exception of zero, reciprocals of every real number are real, reciprocals of every rational number are rational, and reciprocals of every complex number are complex. The property that every element other than zero has a multiplicative inverse is part of the definition of a field, of which these are all examples. On the other hand, no integer other than 1 and minus 1 has an integer reciprocal, and so the integers are not a field. In modular arithmetic, the modular multiplicative inverse of A is also defined, it is the number x such that x are per mil 1. This multiplicative inverse exists if and only if A and N are prime. For example, the inverse of 3 modulo 11 is 4 because 4 or 3 are per mil 1. The extended Euclidean algorithm may be used to compute it. The Sedonians are an algebra in which every non-zero element has a multiplicative inverse, but which nonetheless has divisors of zero, that is non-zero elements x, y such that x y equals zero. A square matrix has an inverse if and only if its determinant has an inverse in the coefficient ring. The linear map that is the matrix or one with respect to some base is then the reciprocal function of the map having A as matrix in the same base. Thus, the two distinct notions of the inverse of a function are strongly related in this case, while they must be carefully distinguished in the general case. The trigonometric functions are related by the reciprocal identity, the cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent. The secant is the reciprocal of the cosine. The cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine. A ring in which every non-zero element has a multiplicative inverse is a division ring. Likewise an algebra in which this holds is a division algebra. Complex numbers, as mentioned above, the reciprocal of every non-zero complex number z equals a plus b is complex. It can be found by multiplying both top and bottom of 1 slash z by its complex conjugate and using the property that, the absolute value of z squared, which is the real number a2 plus b2. In particular, if z equals 1, then. Consequently, the imaginary units, the plus or minus i, have additive inverse equal to multiplicative inverse, and are the only complex numbers with this property. For example, additive and multiplicative inverses of i are a, i, equals a and 1 slash i equals a i, respectively. For a complex number in polar form z equals r, cosa euro she plus e a euro shine euro she, the reciprocal simply takes the reciprocal of the magnitude and the negative of the angle. Calculus, in real calculus, the derivative of 1 slash x equals 1 is given by the power rule with the power of 1. 
the power rule for integrals cannot be used to compute the integral of 1 slash x, because doing so would result in division by zero. Instead the integral is given by where ln is the natural logarithm. To show this, note that, so if and, we have algorithms, the reciprocal may be computed by hand with the use of long division. Computing the reciprocal is important in many division algorithms, since the quotient AB can be computed by first computing 1 slash B and then multiplying it by A. Noting that as a 0 at x equals 1 slash B, Newton's method can find that 0, starting with a guess and iterating using the rule. This continues until the desired precision is reached. For example, Suppose we wish to compute 1 17th of per mil 0.0588 with three digits of precision. Taking x o equals 0.1, the following sequence is produced, x1 equals 0.1, 2 to 17 a, 0.1 equals 0.03, x2 equals 0.03, 2 to 17 a, 0.03 equals 0.0447 x3 equals 0.0447, 2 to 17 a, 0.0447 a per mil 0.0554, x4 equals 0.0554, 2 to 17 a, 0.0554 a per mil, 0.0586, x5 equals 0.0586, 2 to 17 a, 0.0586 a per mil 0.0588, a typical initial guess can be found by rounding b to a nearby power of 2, then using bit shifts to compute its reciprocal. In constructive mathematics, for a real number x to have a reciprocal, it is not sufficient that x a per mil 0. There must instead be given a rational number as such that 0. 